Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. Well, I've stopped coughing it seems and I feel a lot better. Anyway, um, I was going to show you a few other things I've made. This is, um, because I know some brides, I thought I would make a series of things that had images of brides and grooms on. So this is bride and groom and that's on a cornucopia or a, a tussy mussy as they say. And so um, this one's made of a round lace doily, like an old doily, and I just lined it with cardboard and then decorated it with some flowers. And on the side here, there's a label that says happy anniversary, and then some pearls and some sort of raggedy pieces hanging down and some wired, um, material, some sort of decorative thing. And then I put some shredded paper in there. So um, I often get asked how to make these. Well, I have a number of ways I make them, and it really depends on the fabric and and, and or the paper. So I thought I would show you um, some fabric ways that I use, because I don't want to really cut too much into the fabric if it's a nice pretty piece like, for example, a doily. So here's a round doily. I should have starched it and ironed it, but I didn't. But anyway, this would make one about the same size as this. And the way I make this is, in fact, that it's the way I made this, is I grab them, grab the circle about here, down below the um, halfway mark, probably three quarters, almost to the bottom, and I just go like that, and I fold it over, and there's my cone right there. And of course, I would put a lining in there. Sometimes I just make a separate one out of cardstock. Just putting that curtain out of the way. Other times, um, I've lined it with batting or with organza or something. But that's the easiest way I know when you're using something circular like this. So let me show you again. I grab it kind of near the bottom, the bottom eighth, and I just go like that. Because I love this, especially when it's a pretty doily with a pretty edge. I like it to show. And so um, that's, that's all there is to it. That's that. I think I put another doily here. Oh yeah, this is a very large doily. And let me see if I can do it with this. This one's very big. And uh, sometimes if they're that big, they're, they don't work so well. They don't look so pretty. Let me see what I can do with that. Let me see here. That's the, that was the right side. And then this is the other side. So I would grab them here at the bottom and I would just simply go like that. Now you can see that is far too big. Oh my gosh, that's far too big. So what I could do in that case is fold it. If I wanted just to cut it, I could fold it in half like that. Cut it there. I don't want to do that right now, so I'm not going to do that. But then once it's cut, all you do is you just roll it. So say that's cut half of one. And that also makes a nice one, like that. Okay. Another way I can make, uh, that I can show you, is um, a piece of cardboard. This, I'm showing you on cardboard, but I would probably use some lace fabric, and I would line the lace, I'd cut a circle of lace, just lace yardage, and put some batting or some iron-on interfacing or something or even white cardstock. This happens to be a dark manila because I want to show you. And, and it's the same principle. So all you do is you take the bottom piece near the bottom and all you do is do this. And there's the, there's the cone. There. And of course you can close this up more, put a tassel there, some beads there, dangles or whatever, 
and then I punch a hole here and punch a hole here and hang this on there so that's that's so simple but it's really easy to do and it's really quite nice and um, I like that and then there's another way I do them sometimes which is a little bit different gives you a little bit different shaped cone but you can adjust the size of it how you want let me put that there okay so I, I had pinned it because I'll be putting pins back in it this one you need a perfect square of fabric any kind of fabric and I would of course I would probably interface it at this stage with some stiff either cardstock or something else then I find so this is a square then I find the center of the square I've already kind of creased it that's the center so I fold one piece over which is going to be kind of like the back of it and then I take this piece which is this side and bring it to that side so here we go this side goes to that side and then I put some pins uh, actually I sew it so I'm sewing it pretend I'm sewing it and then I open this out and then I move this where I've sewn it to one side or the other I either m put it on that side or I put it on that this in this case I think I put it there and so that gives me the cone and the reason I turned that down at first is because otherwise it would be sticking up like that and that doesn't look too good and of course this kind has to have a cardboard insert too but this is a great one if you want to put a lot of writing on it and tags and things you've got a kind of a flap to hang all that stuff on and um, actually I could sew it a little closer and then it looks like that it looks like that and then you put a, a cone in there to hold it see if this will work in there this is a bit big but you put you take something after you've made it I like them when they are flat like this because you can do a lot of decoration on it first and then you just insert a cone into there to hold it when you've finished course this cone's not the right size but if it was made the same way with a square you would work with it just easily so the reason I like this as I said is I like to sometimes put a lot of collage on them a lot of embellishment and it's nice if you can do it while it's flat and then I can hang some tassels some tags labels beads pearls whatever so it actually is more like that and then well I thought I was going to do it this this way yeah so those are the ways I make one of those cones so I'll show you this one again and this one was made this the first method which is this method So there you see, but of course I, I have the um, this going the other way, so I, I did it that way. There, so that's how that is. And then you put a flower in it. Very pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for, bye for now.